Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are in the southwestern desert, on the shore just southwest of the Shattered Bridge, building a carpenter's store. I've done plenty of town square builds before, such as general stores, blacksmiths, etc, but I've not yet done a carpenter's store outside of the Colonising Conan project, so here we are. Before we get started though, we do of course have to thank the sponsors NordVPN. If somehow you haven't heard of them before, NordVPN offers one of the best rated VPN services available, featuring super fast servers in 60 countries, no data logging, 24-7 customer support, double data encryption, the ability to unlock region lock content including Netflix, ITV, BBC iPlayer and such, and more to ensure you always stay safe on the internet. With unlimited bandwidth, a lightweight Chrome browser extension, and the ability to use Nord on up to 6 devices simultaneously including mobile devices, NordVPN is the best way to protect yourself on the internet. It's simple to use one click and you are both connected and protected. NordVPN is great and it's one of the best ways to support me, each video I make takes roughly between 8 and 12 hours to make, so when you purchase NordVPN through my link you really do help me out a ton. You can get 70% off NordVPN when you visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt, or use code eradyt at checkout, which comes out to $3.49 a month, or about £2.80 if you're in the UK, which is a great price for the service. As always, a massive thanks to Nord for sponsoring the video. So, without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, we're starting off with, of course, the base plate. I'll be using stable fence foundations to give a more solid, nice looking base to the store and to plan out how I want the rooms to be. As you can see by the blueprint, I'll be using a fairly simple design that I actually based off of my original blacksmith store build, just simplified and somewhat redesigned for this store. I did make some changes to the build after construction, namely adding an extra one tile wide strip on the far left and far right side of the builds, which is already shown in the blueprint. It's a very simple addition that you should see quite clearly, and I only really made it for comfort and symmetry in the build. Next for the walls. I opted to use mainly Kitana in construction to achieve a warm aesthetic within the build, along with to match the purpose of the build, of course, woodworking, with the material palette. I used frontier pieces for the secondary material, including ceilings on the non-storefront parts of the build and the stairs. I initially was going to use stable and lattice to get a humble yet well put together feeling in the construction. However, due to the lack of awnings, sloped pieces and roof options for this DLC pack, I chose to forego the stable and lattice sets for something that could fit exactly what I was looking for. After building the walls two tiles high on the ground floor, I then capped the floor off with frontier ceilings and built two tiles high again on the first floor, which will be the living quarters for the store owner. Next for the roof. I wanted to cover part of the raised workshop section on the right side of the build, along with the awnings above the first floor balcony. I initially built the roof running against the grain of these coverings, though I would choose to remove the roof and build it with the grain of the coverings instead. This creates a raised section in the centre of the roof, which at first I wasn't keen on, however it looks alright, it adds a little bit something unique to the build. I initially was going to use Argosian roofing and awnings, however the awnings are a little too opulent for the build, as the columns are instead made from white marble as opposed to every other awning which uses wood, which just doesn't suit this build at all. However I did like the Argosian slate texture for the roof, therefore I went with Kitan for a similar style, just a different colour. 
it was probably a better decision to go with Gitan, not only because obviously the awnings are a tad too elegant, but also because the Argosian roofs are very warm in tone, and this combined with the Kitan walls may have been, you know, too much of those warm tones, so having the plain grey slate of Kitan works a bit better. Finally, I placed a separating fence in the ground floor room for the front desk, and added doors around the build. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to, of course, furnish. Outside the build, I've lit the front porch with hanging terranium braziers, and the workshop area with standing protected torches. Inside the build, however, I've used ketan hanging lamps to get a fancy yet delicate and warm lighting. Entering the store, I've decorated the left side wall with some wood-based weapons, along with splitting the floor in half with a customer waiting area, and the front desk where orders are taken and paid for. Heading out of the right side door we reached the stairs to the workshop. I kept this open area underneath the workshop hollow, so you could put more storage in here or another carpenter's area, it's really up to you. Heading up we reached the carpenter's workshop. This is where all the woodworking is done in the outside air to keep the workers somewhat comfortable. There's also storage around the corner on the raised section to place raw materials into, so they're always close to hand.
Heading into the stairwell, there's another storage closet next to the stairs for storing finished items that haven't yet been collected. Heading upstairs we reach the living quarters of the store owner. On the right side there is a small closet, where all of the owner's clothes are stored. Heading across the stairwell we reach the actual living quarters. Here we have a compact lounge with an open plan kitchen and dining area, along with a closed off bedroom. This floor also has access to a small balcony that overlooks the shore, providing some nice views of the end of the river and the nearby rock formations. And there we have it, a carpenter's store in the southwestern desert, just southwest of the Shattered Bridge. Thanks for watching, though this is a simple design I'm pretty happy with how it came out, and I think it could fit into almost any village or town, depending on what material you choose to build it with. If you've enjoyed this video leave a like, and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos. As usual, absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch, and join the fun on our Discord through the links in the description. Also, of course, don't forget you can get 70% off NordVPN when you use code IRADYT at checkout, or you can go through my affiliate link either in the description or the pinned comment below. YouTube is currently my full-time source of income, so if you enjoy the content and would like to help support the channel so I can continue to put out the best content possible, do consider becoming a patron. There are multiple tiers of support from $1 to $20, offering many different benefits from a mention in every video to Discord roles, and even sneak peeks of every new video before anyone else. The link to my Patreon is always in the description, so if you'd like to support the channel, no matter how much you want to pledge, do feel free to consider becoming a patron. During the lockdown, the video previews are usually restricted to the $20 tier, are now available to the $10 tier and above, so that anyone that chooses to become a patron at $10 or above just has that little bit more content to watch. On that note, a thanks to our current patrons Sammy, Sadialot, Randar, Motels, and Dumfox. If you're new here, feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Conan Exiles videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you like what you see, subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video, and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.